Hi, welcome to SP tutorial. So last videos we have seen that how to um, use the data binding and how to navigate from a page to another page and how to pass the parameter from one page to another page. So now um, if we if we can notice that if we use the username and the password and um, if we click on the login sorry if we click on the login so um, it directly goes to the home page but if we can click on the back button or the back icon so it directly goes to the login page again so it is not a good thing to so what we can do so once any user login after successfully login once uh, he will navigate to the uh, home page or dashboard page then it should not show the login page when user click on the back button so what we need to do that is called setting the root page so you can see that uh, when we set our main page here uh, we are setting the main page from app.xml.cs and we are using the navigation page and we are setting the main page so that means our root currently our root page is a main page that uh, we are using the login here so that is our root page so whenever we set any page to this main page application main page that page becomes root okay so now how to do this so um, suppose this if i go to the main page dot view model dot ca so you can see that after successfully login we generally use navigation dot processing to navigate from login page to the home page so instead of doing this what we will do we will use application dot current dot main page equals to new navigation page and new home page so that the things we will do now what will happen here if we run these things what will happen it will directly not navigate from login page to home page so what it will do after successfully login directly the home page will be replacing on the root page that means if we set the home page as a root page then whatever pages was there in the behind of the home page it will remove okay now let's run it okay So now if I click on the login button, you can see here we navigate from login page to home page. But if we click on the back button, then it will directly close our application. So it will not go, go back to the login page. Even if you if you can notice in the navigation bar, it this navigation bar don't have the back button. That means this page is our root page. So in this page we don't have any page behind this page so if we click on the back button you can see the page will close the application will terminate okay so that means we have replaced the root page from login page to home page after successfully logging so now uh, the main things uh, comes and uh, main question comes under mind that then how to log out then so what we'll do uh, let me create a uh, button inside this home page let me create a button here log out here i am not using any mvvm uh, i am just for testing purpose i am using the click event okay and here i am using logout click okay so let me use that logout click so what we will do we will use the same process we can copy this line and here instead of home page we will use the main page main page means it is having our login page okay so that's it means once user click on the logout page then whatever pages was there in the navigation then all the pages will remove and 
the main page means this login page will be set as a root page okay let me run it again okay so now i am login if i click on the login you can see we come back to the home page if we click on the logout then you can see we come back to the login page so if we uh, now if we can uh, back from here then you can see it will not go to the home page because the login page become root page after clicking on the logout button so if we click on the back button it will terminate the app so that's it so that's it for handling the root page in our maui application the same things also happens for the xamarin forms so that's it thanks for watching have a great day